Hey YouTube, I've got a really special treat for you today. We are going to do an unboxing on a Bibo 3D printer. Luckily, I have a good friend of mine that was nice enough to hold off on all of his excite that he had built up and bring this printer over to my house to unbox for a video. So we're going to do an unboxing, we're going to do a setup, and we'll get to it right after this. <laughs> So before we get started, you know what time it is. We're going to open a, an adult beverage for this assembly. I have the Bell's Two-Hearted Ale. I believe this is in the top five. I know it's in the top ten beers in America. This is a very good beer if you guys haven't had it. So let's go ahead and uh, get some of this love going on here. I mean, we've got to have an adult beverage to assemble this printer. Or it might not get done right. Got good color. It's pretty clear for a wheat beer. Mm. <laughs> it, love, it rubs the lotion on its skin. Okay, let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. <clears throat> Since it's not my printer, I'm gonna go ahead and let Bobby open everything up. And as he's getting stuff out, we'll look at it and I'll explain to you what it is. And this is pretty much going to be an unedited video. I'm sure I will do some editing, but I'm going to try and leave as much of this live with what is actually happening as I can when I uh, upload this video to YouTube. Oh, well, we got some nice cardboard there. Ooh, nice cardboard. Looks like the printer is pre-assembled. So actually, I'll tell you what, let's set this box on the ground and then we'll lift it up out of the box. Let's see if we got any more parts in here. Random screws. Uh oh. So we have a random screw and a random nut there. Oh, there's more. Oh, there's lots more. Random screw. Now, this was an open box burner, it was purchased as open box. Looks like we have an assortment of pieces down here. Nuts and bolts. Okay, I'll let you go ahead and look through the rest of that body if you want to. So I got a little bit of filament there. Nice of them to send that with the printer. And just some random nuts and bolts, little nylon something that's Looks to be busted. And uh, so that's all, that's everything that we've had in our box. <clears throat> and come around the front of it here. And wow. So, <laughs> uh. so we're going to have to dig into this, guys, but I don't know if you guys can see. I'm actually going to grab my camera here off, off of this. It's looking like, it's looking like all this stuff is cut, has been cut off of the machine for some reason. It has a massive clog on it massive clog this whatever this is isn't even plugged in and there's our linear bearings that aren't even attached 
to this plastic piece. This printer's kind of in shams. Uh, looks like we have a possibly a broken belt here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to have a clip on it. It looks like maybe it's not because it looks like there's not a clip on that one. So right out of the box for being an open box, this is not looking very good so far. We're uh, definitely going to have to do some digging into this. That's all loose. God damn, look at that fucking clog. And this fan isn't even attached. So I'll tell you what, unfortunately guys, I think I'm going to have to stop the video here for a few minutes. And we're going to kind of go through this and uh, see what we can get figured out. Um, I'll put the video on time lapse so you guys can at least watch us as we work. But I'm going to pretty much stop the spoken word portion of it now so we can kind of get this lined out and just see what we're working with. Okay guys, so we've done some troubleshooting. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna look at some things that we found to matter with this. Uh, other than what we've already showed, you've seen a little bit of our troubleshooting and looking at it. We did check it, it does power up. Uh, the motors do seem to function that are hooked up, but we did find quite a few things to matter with this printer. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my phone and you can see we found that the handle is busted. So, and like I said, this printer was bought open box, but it was supposed to be fully functional. Um, but you can see these nylon bolts that hold this handle on is busted. Uh, there is the door. We did get the door. Uh, the door actually looks fine. It has plastic on at least the one side. Uh, and on the other side, you can see I just peeled it off. The door is actually in pretty good shape, better shape than the rest of the printer. Uh, let's see. So these wires that go to the bed and probably both of these go to the bed and these two go to the thermistor, you can see that they have just been cut and there's no bed. I mean, there's, there's no fucking bed. We've looked everywhere. I mean, it's not in the box. It's not in the printer. Uh, this belt actually is not cut. The way they hook up is it looks like they're just pinned under these little, these little plastic extruded pieces. But as you can tell, there's a lot of wear under here. I don't know if this happened during shipping or if, it, that's what it looks like. It looks like it might've happened during shipping because if you look, it looks like that rubs right at that spot. Uh, this fan isn't even fucking hooked up for whatever reason. You know, I mean, look at that. I mean, there is a humongous clog on that right nozzle. The left nozzle doesn't really look clogged, but a humongous clog. Uh, again, no bed, as you can see. So this piece here, we actually noticed, I thought maybe the linear, the linear bearings just came out of their housing. But if you look, the piece that holds the belt over here is, is busted it's gone it's completely gone so there's no i mean we can probably get this to hook up onto the linear bearings which we do plan to do here in a minute but this printer is definitely uh is now a parts machine uh, you could probably throw enough money at this to fix it and make it work but they've they've already contacted the company uh we're gonna see what they want to do to rectify the situation you can look right here and see all the damage that's been done to this aluminum piece. I don't even know how that happened. I mean, unless, that, yeah, see that, that there's not even a physically a way for that to bang against, uh, against the back of this or against, against this rail. There's no physical way. 
uh, did not come with a top, which it was supposed to. There's nothing back here. There's This is all scratched up. These are supposed to be your filament holders, which they're not there. There's some random plug that's, will you hold that for a second? There's some random plug here that there's no end to it inside of this, inside of all of this stuff. I mean, where does this even go? So it's not looking very good so far for the Bibbo printer. So I'm actually gonna show you guys the purchaser. This is my best friend, Bobby. Bobby, what do you think about this printer so far? <laughs> I'm awful doggone disappointed. <laughs> this is, that's a little ridiculous, I think. Yeah. You guys can even look at this. I mean, even this even this USB port and where the yeah. SD card goes in, it looks yeah. pretty banged up. This thing is definitely bent and mushroomed right here at the bottom. It's I understand good. that that can happen okay. uh, we'll by plugging stuff in and taking it out and everything, well, but you, this buddy. definitely, I mean, this is definitely janked up. It did not come with a power cord. It did not come with the USB cord. So... We thought we was gonna be doing an unboxing and assembly, but for right now, this is just where we're at with the Bibbo printer. Uh, it was supposed to come with a laser engraver, which it didn't. So, uh, just not sure what to think from here. We need to check this, Bobby, and see if this is stripped out here. Oh, there's actually not even a nylon. There should be another nylon washer that goes behind that. See, there's two nylon washers over here. Where's, where's my camera? There we go. Two nylon washers over here. There should be two on this side, and there's not. We've got one. Uh, so we need to check that screw. So, and this whole assembly is loose if I didn't show that already. You know, that's, that's good stuff right there. You know, I have no idea what this thing is for this spring right here. That's some kind of a belt tensioner, or does that even belong there? You know, I've never, I don't, that I know of on any printer I've ever messed with, which I've only messed with about th three, I've never seen a spring like this on a belt. So I'm willing to bet that just doesn't go there. So, yep, pretty upsetting. Not sure where to go from here, other than, like I said, emailing the company. I feel pretty comfortable saying that for now, I'm gonna stop on this video. Uh, I, I am gonna go ahead and upload it. I don't know how long it's gonna be till I'm gonna get back to this uh, current situation, but I'm sure that Bobby doesn't mind keeping me updated. And um, Obviously, once we either get a new printer, hopefully that's what should happen because, like I said, this at this point, this is a parts machine. If they try and just ship him parts to re to repair this, I'll be extremely surprised. Um, actually, if they even ask him to ship this back and the damage it's in, I'll be extremely surprised because, you know, PayPal does protect your purchases, but usually you have to return the item to them for them for PayPal to give you your money back. If they ask for something to be shipped back in this kind of fashion, I'll be extremely surprised. I mean, they really shouldn't do it. Bibbo, if you're watching, shame on you. Don't do that. Make sure you send a new printer to this guy because this is horse shit. I mean, you need to give him this for parts and make his purchase right. So until next time, guys, Take it easy, keep on printing.